Hi, this is Carl. Last time we talked about setting up your hosted spam filter. So basically, this is what it looks like. You've got your in-house Exchange server. All of your devices are connected to that, and uh, it's all working exactly the way it's supposed to. Email is sent out through your internet service provider to Cousin Larry's pretty good spam filtering service, and from there it goes out to anybody who's sending or receiving email from you. So everything goes through the spam filter. This has some advantages. One of the coolest advantages is that you've got uh, a buffer, right? That that any kind of spam filtering obviously is going to be on their side, but more than that, you've got some place where they are probably going to be able to back you up. In other words, they've got a way to archive your email. And they may have a way to do additional filtering such as HIPAA filtering automatically as email flows through Cousin Larry's pretty good spam filter or whatever spam filter you're using. Today we're going to talk about how do you move from Notice I put in old office here. How do you move from the client's old office to another office with zero downtime? You want to make sure no email gets lost, dropped, or forgotten. Turns out it's really easy if you have a hosted spam filter. Okay, here's the setup. At the old office, you've got your server, your firewall, your gateway, and then out it goes to the internet up to Cousin Larry's pretty good spam filter, and then to outside email services. Now, the client's going to set up a new office. With luck, they'll put in a new server, but in eh, real world, most of the time, probably they're just moving offices and it's not a time to, for them to be buying a new server. So, we want to move the email from one place to another with zero downtime. Okay? You have to be real clear about what that means, zero downtime. It means Nobody from the outside world is going to have anything bounced. Nothing will be lost or dropped or forgotten. And the client will not miss any of their email. Okay. One of the cool things is most hosted spam filters are going to give you access to a web-based interface for checking your email. So while your Exchange server is down, they're going to be able to collect all the email. Nobody will get a bounce. They're going to save it for you. And then when you reconnect, it's all good. In the meantime, you'll be able to connect through the web. Step one is you're going to set up a configuration file at Cousin Larry's Pretty Good Spam Filter. So that configuration file tells it that it can send email and forward it to a new address. So you're going to say the new address is whatever the new IP address is at the new office. So even if the office doesn't exist, the IP address exists and it knows that it can send email to that. Automatically, it will not error out if it can't reach it. It's just going to hold the email. That's all it does, which is a beautiful thing because now you say, all right, turn it on. This is the day of the move. Turn it on to the new office. Stop it at the old office. So now, email will not try to flow to the old office. It'll just get stored at Cousin Larry's pretty good spam filtering. At this point, you can now remove the server from the old office altogether because nothing on it is involved in email services anymore. So you can either get rid of the server or pick it up, move it across town, install it at the new office, and then all you have to do is make sure it's mapped through the gateway and the uh, firewall to the correct IP address. As soon as the spam filter sees it, email will start flowing to the new address. In the meantime, nobody got any bounce messages. Nothing was lost, dropped, or forgotten. All the email was just sitting there waiting for the client. And as soon as this machine came online, it just started working. If you use your old machine, one of the cool things is if you've got a smart host that's always forwarding to a certain IP address, that will not have changed. Cousin Larry has not moved. You've moved. So nothing on your side actually needs to change at all except the firewall mapping of your internal address to the external address. As you can see, it's super easy to go from the old office to the new office, zero downtime for any mail services. In the meantime, Everybody else just connects up to the server the way they always have, although people who have mobile devices may have to go to a different IP address and have that set up. But if they're using DNS and it's all good, then they're all good. Next time we're going to talk about the advantages of actually having 
hosted exchange. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to click on the link, subscribe to the channel, and send me your feedback at carlp at smallbizthoughts.com.